Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's YBC, and I'm back for a new video. And in this video, I'm going to be helping you guys become a better My Team player by teaching you guys and telling you guys how to stop the base 11 jump shots, the base 11 cheese in NBA 2K19 My Team. So if this video does help you, if you guys can do me a quick favor and smash that like button, drop a like on the video, let's try and aim for 500 likes on this video. So let's just get straight into it, as I believe I've cracked the code, I guess you could say, to, you know, defending the guys like Danny Granger, Karolinko, Kiki Vandaway, you know, Bob Pettit, Tito Turklu. I feel like I have grasped the concept of being able to defend those base 11 jump shots in my team right now. So before I hop into it, I know what you guys are probably wondering. Why should, you know, you take my advice? Why should you take, you know, a young kid, a young teenager with an afro? Why would you take his advice? I'm describing myself, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, you guys should take my advice because in case you guys don't know, last year, I was the second best my team player in the community. I was ranked number two out of everybody. But yeah, lately this year, there hasn't really been much competition in terms of tournaments and such. So there hasn't really been an updated placement and such like that. There hasn't been really any tournaments for me to, you know, Try and show off my skills, you know. I mean, we have the qualifier and the tournament, but I've been working on Saturdays, on the weekends. I haven't been able to participate in that much, but yeah, last year I, you know, won some. I was a semifinalist in multiple tournaments. I won one or two, but yeah, overall last year I was the second best my team player in the community. And about a week ago, I released a how to go 12 and 0 in unlimited, and you guys, it seemed to help you guys out. So yeah, you guys trusted me on that, and I hope you guys trust me on this because in this video, I'm gonna try my best to tell you guys how to stop the ridiculous base 11 G's. So let's get straight into the tips. As tip number one is you have to use taller defenders to guard the base 11 jump shots. So we take a look at my lineup right here. As you guys see, I have a good mixture of defenders, playmakers, sharpshooters, but the main thing is that everybody on my team is tall. Now, as you guys see, the lowest height in my starting five is Scottie Pittman, who is six foot eight. And the reason why you guys have to have taller defenders and taller players is because of shot contest. You guys will not get a shot contest if you use guy, if you guys use guys like this Ruby Chris Paul. The reason why I bring up Chris Paul is because he has the Galaxy Opal, which I don't think is worth it in this game because all you have to do to a guy like Chris Paul who is six feet tall is simply shoot over him with Granger or somebody with base eleven. But because of the fact that everybody in my starting five is six feet six foot eight or above, I'm gonna be going I'm going to get a lot, and I mean a lot, of lightly contested, heavily contested, and smothered jump shots on those base eleven, you know. But what, what people like to do is just go up to you and chuck, and with, when you guys have tall defenders, they just can't shoot it right over your face. That's the thing about base 11. It is really, really good to chuck just over people, shoot right over people. Chris Paul is somebody you can shoot right over. That Galaxy Opal Chris Paul, people are going to shoot right over. But you guys are going to want to have a main core and a main you know lineup of guys who are tall who can contest the jump shots. As you guys see on my screen, my lineup is filled with those guys. Moving on to tip number two, and that's going to be the tip of use players with Hall of Fame defensive stopper. And if they don't have Hall of Fame defensive stopper, apply a defensive stopper to upgrade that badge to gold. What defensive stopper does, the badge, is that it lowers your opponent's badges when you get a contest or a good defense. So what that means is that for a guy like Scottie Pippen, as we see right here, he has Hall of Fame defensive stopper. What that does is it lowers your opponent's badges. If I get a contest on Turkaloo or Danny Granger with this Scottie Pippen, what it's going to do is lower his badges. For example, or Danny Granger. For example, Danny Granger right here has gold deep range Deadeye and gold corner specialist, gold limitless range. If I contest this Granger with this Scottie Pippen with Hall of Fame defensive stopper, what Hall of Fame defensive stopper is going to do to Danny Granger's badges is lower them. For example, Granger, instead of shooting and shooting in my face with on Scottie Pippen with gold deep range dead eye, he's gonna shoot in my face with either bronze deep range dead eye or zero deep range dead eye because that is how important this defensive stopper badge is. Moving on to tip number three, as you know, a lot of you guys might you know disagree with this, or I mean, you guys might not want to do this, but you guys are gonna have to do this to try your best to stop it. What you guys have to do in tip number three is on ball your opponents. This is kind of gonna lead me into tip number four, but. Yeah, tip number three is you guys have to on ball. The reason why you guys are going to have to on ball your opponent is because of the fact that if you off ball and a guy sets this, if you if he you know is a real cheeser with base eleven, all he has to do is set a screen with his big man, take one you know hop step back, and it's going to be a wide open three with the player he's using. It's that simple. Off ball is very beatable in terms of base eleven jump shots. It's very beatable. But if you guys on ball, you guys will be able to fight through the screen, which your computer is not going to do. You're gonna be able to fight through the screen, which is gonna lead me to tip number four, and that is gonna be to contest the jump shot. When I say contest the jump shot, I don't mean you know try and be there to defend him. 
No. You guys are gonna have to get a right stick up. You guys are gonna have to get a right stick up on your controller to contest it, or you guys are gonna have to press triangle to jump at him. That's gonna be your best bet to contesting, you know. If you just play defense and hold L2 on ball, he's gonna shoot right over you. You guys must get a contest on a jump shot. And the way you guys do that is by pushing the right stick up like this or triangle and in case you guys are on xbox and not the uh, ps4 controller i get it i have an xbox controller it's the exact same thing you guys push up on your right analog and then push y to jump you know that's how you can test the shot but when you contest it and you guys press triangle or y to jump be careful be careful at what time you jump at the con at the shot because if you guys jump at the wrong time he's gonna beat you you know I like to jump when I know I'm too far off for a contest. It's kind of a guessing game a little bit, not really, but if you guys think you are too far to get a contest with your right stick up, press triangle and jump at him. That's going to be your best bet at a contest. Like for example, if you're sagging off a little bit and you think you're a little too far and your opponent thinks he has a shot, press triangle. Don't push R up because it's going to trigger an open just because of that base 11 release. If you guys are too far, press triangle to jump at them, but if you're in their grill, you know, and he's trying to, trying to shoot right over you. All you guys have to do is right stick up with that defensive stopper guy and you guys are going to get a contest and that's your best bet at contesting this jump shot and forcing a miss. Moving on to tip number five and this is going to be the tip of matchups. As we take a look on my screen right here, you guys are going to want to put your locked down defenders on the base 11 cheesers. As we take a look at my lineup right here, I have three locked down defenders, maybe four if we include magic out of my 10 man rotation. What you guys are going to want to do is put the, the lockdowns like Scottie Pippen who has defensive stopper, Giannis who is, has a wide wingspan and he's really tall. D Draymond Green, who has Hall of Fame defensive stopper, and Magic Johnson, who is a steel goblin and a pluck goblin. Basically, what you guys are wanna do with those four guys, in my, in my four, your lockdowns, is place those guys on the base 11 cheesers. Put your lockdowns on the base 11 cheesers. That's what you guys wanna do for the matchup situation. And I know if you guys don't have, you know, lockdown defenders on your team, if you guys wanna, you know, run and gun, and you know, you guys like offense better than defense, I understand that. And that's why I suggest, you know, putting guys like Giannis or Magic Johnson or Hidu Turkoglu, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys run him or Granger on the base 11 guys because of the fact that Granger is 6'9", Turkoglu is 6'10". Giannis, you know, he, you guys might not run, run a lockdown. You guys might run Giannis instead of a lockdown. He's 6'11 with the wide wingspan. Put your tallest guys on, put your tallest and most athletic guys on your opponent's base 11 cheaters. That's going to be your best bet if you guys don't have lockdown defenders. And I believe we're on tip number six, is after this tip, we're going to move on to the defensive settings. But yeah, tip number six is going to be play over on every single screen. I cannot emphasize this tip enough. You know, you guys might say, oh, if I go over, they'll beat me to the rim. And no, they will not. Because if you guys go over on a screen, switch to your center fast enough, you guys will be able to cut off the guy. You know, Her Tur Hidu Turkoglu, Kiki Vandaway, those guys aren't athletic. Those guys are the base 7 guys, but those guys are not athletic, so they won't beat you to the rim. You guys will have plenty of time to cut them off with your center when you go over the screen with your with your defender, you know. Going over the screen is probably the most important tip that I can't emphasize enough, really. It's probably the most important tip. So I'm going to, you know, get in this game right here. But I do want to emphasize the fact that this is play with friends. So play with friends, honestly, is a lower difficulty. As you guys see, we get a steal right there with my right stick up. I have my right stick up. I got a pluck steal with magic. But play with friends is a little bit lower of a difficulty than uh, unlimited. It's actually a lot lower. Play with friends is like on rookie, you know. But yeah, as you guys see right here, we're going right over the screen. And we get a lightly contest. We got a lightly contest because I have my right stick up and I went over the screen. I'm not sure if you guys could tell, but on that last play, I got a lightly contest, mainly because of the fact that my bar underneath, you know, the guy I was shooting, I was contesting the base 11 shot with, Scottie Pippen, I think that was, who contested it. I got a lightly contest because the bar under him showed up as yellow. That's how you know you contested the shot. Now, in terms of matchups, how I want to match up is because because of the fact that Turk Lou is the tallest, I'm going to put Giannis on him because Turk Lou is the tallest. Kiki, I am going to put Magic Johnson mainly on because I feel like he doesn't have that good of ball control. And Karen Ligo, I feel like, is the best base level in cheaters, so I'm going to put Scottie Pippen on him. So now, as we go into the defensive settings, the main defensive settings you guys are going to put for just, you know, in general, super, for Unlimited, is tight on ball, tight off ball. Go down to drive help, no help for screen and drive help rules. Then switch rules, go to all. Those are the main five settings that I use for just online and unlimited. So on to the more advanced settings for these base 11 guys, what you guys are going to want to do is change the, you know, the rules to smother on ball, 
then eye ball for the off ball pressure on ball screen go over and hedges screen hard hedges you know what you guys what you guys are going to do for the base 11 cheaters you know over over hard hedge hard hedge smother deny and again it looks like he's going with kiki right here and if he wants to cheese with him on scotty i'm all for it i went over the screen right there and you guys see right there we got a lightly contest because i went over the screen and i put my analog up trust me when i say this if i went under the screen right there if i went under the screen if i went under the screen it would have been a wide open three and he probably would have greened it and it would have went in now, right here, like I said, he's going to go with Karen Lingo. I feel like he's the best guy with base 11. So I have my right stick up, and I'm playing him as best as I can. And now I'm too far, so I had to jump. He beat me right there. That was a good shot. But I tried my best to jump because I knew I was too far. That's a good time to jump. It was just a good shot that he made right there. Now, again, he's going to try and work out with Karen Lingo right here. I'm in his grill. I'm there with my right stick up. Nope. See, that's a heavy right there. That is a heavy because I was in his grill with my right stick up. I was not too far. I didn't need to jump. All I have to do is put my right stick up with Scotty Pippen. Because he has that Hall of Fame defensive stopper, it lowered, you know, Karen Lingo's badges. And because Scotty Pippen is tall, he can contest that. And that is perfect defense on that base 11 cheese. Now he has Karen Lingo. He's trying to use him. I'm in his grill. I don't need to jump. Add my right stick up because I'm just right there in his face, you know? I went over the screen, played that well, and he shoved up a brick. Now he's wide open. That's a good shot. He nailed it right there. That's a good shot, but... In terms of, you know, on ball, so far I'm doing an excellent job defending this base 11. Now he got lucky with Blake on Turkaloo, but it's fine because Blake is 6'11". He's tall enough to defend Turkaloo, as you guys see. Now we're going to go over the screen, go over it. Okay, I try my best to go over it. He has Hakeem in the paint. He missed him, but, you know, we are going to live with that. We are going to live with Hakeem rolling, and that's just what we have to do. Now he wants to use Kiki right here, and like I said... We are going to be giving up the rolls, and it's fine. It's fine we can give up the rolls here and there, you know. My opponent did dot up, dot me right there, and he hit the roller, which is fine. I would much rather, you know, let my opponent have a wide open two, a dunk, than a wide open three with guys like Turkaloo, AK, and Kiki. Oh, that's a nice behind the back move, but I'm there to contest it because I put my right stick up. All right, honestly, that right there is just simply play with friends difficulty. I got a heavenly contest on that shot. And there's not much else I could do. There's not much else I could do because of the fact that I got a heavily contest. And in, in, in online unlimited, he's going to miss that. We're in play with friends, so that's pretty much the only reason why that went in. Now, right here, the reason why I say don't use guys like Chris Paul is because of the fact like that. That's exactly why you guys don't want to use guys like Chris Paul because people in unlimited use these guys, you know, and they just simply shoot over small defenders like Chris Paul. That is exactly why you guys don't want to use guys like Chris Paul. Kemba Walker and guys like that for that reason. I was there. I put up my analog up. I tried my best. But because, because Chris Paul's so short and base 11 is just so cheesy, he shot right over me and that was open. That was money. So yeah, that's about it. Honestly, I contested like a really good amount of my opponent's jump shots. The only reason why they went in really is because they were with play with friends. I didn't go in an online unlimited game because a lot of times guys don't just literally use one player the entire time. When this play with friends, I just told my opponent to use, you know, the base 11 guys who we had like Kiki, Carolingo, and Turkaloo. And it was a lot easier for me to get clips and show you guys how effective these tips are to help you guys defending the base 11 OP release. Like I said, I contested most of his shots, the, just the matter of the fact that we, were, we played with friends and that difficulty is so low. I mean, that's the main reason why he made most of his shots, but yeah. That's about it. I really hope these tips have helped you. If they do, make sure you guys do drop a like because we are trying to smash 500 likes. And also, if you guys aren't, just make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And it's YBC and I'm out. Peace.